Fire prevention is something no one really thinks about because we're busy at our jobs and home, and we don't really believe a fire will happen to us. It's important to review the basics of fire protection periodically just to improve our awareness. The most important aspect of fire prevention is keeping your work area neat, clean, and organized. A sloppy work area indicates substandard work habits and certainly is a safety and fire hazard. There's no reason to have a messy work area. One area that's often neglected is storage rooms. This includes maintenance areas, electrical panel rooms, and janitor areas. The first rule is to keep all work areas neat, clean, and organized. We all know gasoline is highly flammable and can be ignited by sparks and open flames. Equally flammable and dangerous are a variety of everyday chemicals such as spray paint, cleaning supplies, even hairspray. It's always a good idea to stop, look, and read the labels on all chemicals and follow the directions. Pay particular attention to sawdust and even cardboard dust. These materials give off combustible vapors, which also can be ignited by sparks, heat, and open flames. Okay, let's take a look at some basic fire protection equipment. You've all seen fire extinguishers and probably know how to operate them, but let's review quickly. We'll explain only one type of extinguisher, the ABC dry chemical type. All extinguishers operate basically the same way, but each are designed to extinguish different types of fires. The ABC extinguisher means it will extinguish class A fires, class B fires, and class C fires. It's a dry chemical pressurized with an inert gas. Everyone should have at least one of these extinguishers in their home. As you work, notice extinguishers and check to see if they are in serviceable condition. If something is wrong, report it to management for repair or service. Inspect the extinguisher to make sure the outside shell isn't damaged. Remember, Extinguishers are pressurized and can explode if damaged. The gauge should read in the green. Too little pressure or too much pressure requires maintenance or service. The pin on the handle should be in place and a plastic seal installed. If the seal is missing, notify management. One thing to remember, if you use an extinguisher even one time, it must be removed and reserviced. Once you use the extinguisher, it will continue to leak gas and in two or three days it will be discharged and unusable until recharged. To use an extinguisher, it's quite simple. Hold the extinguisher and break the seal on the pin and pull the pin. Stand about three to five feet or more away from the fire and aim the nozzle toward the base of the fire. If you stand too close, you can spread the fire when the extinguisher is activated. Stand away, then move in towards the fire. To activate the extinguisher, simply push the handle, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, and push the handle. The overriding rule on the use of extinguishers is to do so only if it is safe. Your safety is more important 